Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. Now, question number three. What are the symptoms of the COVID-19 virus infection, symptoms of the coronavirus infection? This is a very good question. And uh, because if you don't know what the symptoms are, you don't know when to seek help. In this video, I'm going to give you all the symptoms that you should expect from the COVID-19 virus infection. And I'm also going to show you how the virus actually plays out in the population. So let's get started. So yes, let's examine the clinical symptoms and spectrum of the COVID-19 disease, the coronavirus disease. And it will also help if we learn some lessons from China, because after all, it all started off in China. China was the epicenter of the problem uh, in January and February and uh, it's now moved to Europe. Uh, Europe is now the epicenter, but it will help for us to learn lessons from China too because uh, they've had a longer experience uh, with the problem. But before we do that, let's look at this nice infographic that uh, a colleague of mine has put together. What I like about this infographic is that it actually outlines uh, symptoms that are common to four disease conditions. Uh, because the symptoms tend to overlap and uh, it helps to actually distinguish between uh, what is happening with one disease and the other. So it's a very nice infographic. So um, we have four disease conditions here. We've got COVID-19, we've got common cold, we've got flu, we've got allergies. But I think we'll probably ignore allergies and common cold. The two that concerns us are, you know, the flu and the COVID-19. So let's look at fever, for instance. Fever is common to COVID-19 and is also common in flu. Dry cough, common in COVID-19 and is also common with flu. But here is where things begin to distinguish themselves. Shortness of breath is common in COVID-19, but not common in flu. Okay, so this is a distinguishing feature. Okay, shortness of breath. Now, headaches... You see them sometimes in COVID-19, but they're more common with flu. Aches and pains, sometimes with COVID-19, more common with flu. Sore throat, sometimes with COVID-19, more common with flu. Fatigue, sometimes in COVID-19, more common with flu. Okay? I mean, if you've had flu, you will know how the aches and pains and how rotten you actually feel. Uh, so you'll know that, you know, fatigue uh, uh, is one of the main symptoms uh, of flu. But it happens sometimes with COVID-19. Okay, so here are distinguishing features that you need to actually take notice of. Okay, now diarrhea is rare uh, in COVID-19. You see it sometimes uh, with flu. Runny nose rare uh, with COVID-19, sometimes with flu. Sneezing is not common to both. Okay, so... These two columns actually concern us more, all right? So you learn here that headaches, aches and pains, sore throat and fatigue are more common with flu compared to COVID-19 where they, you see them sometimes. But shortness of breath is more common with COVID-19, but you don't see it uh, much with flu. So this infographic actually really does help, okay? So let's move on. Now, I got this from the CDC website. The CDC is, uh, is talking about uh, that the symptoms that you're going to experience are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Remember, you know, we saw them here. Uh, and that the symptoms may appear uh, 2 to 14 days after exposure. All right. So fever, cough, shortness of breath. The CDC is actually emphasizing those three. The CDC is also saying that if you develop these symptoms here, uh, you should get medical attention immediately. So, of course, we talked about the shortness of breath. Uh, persistent pain in the chest. So chest pain. Uh, if somebody is becoming confused or they're becoming difficult to arouse, that is to say they are drowsy, then they also need medical attention. Now, if they're becoming blue in the face or lips, that suggests that they are desaturating uh, or deoxygenating, uh, to use a layman's term. So desaturation means that uh, their blood is not carrying enough oxygen. Uh, and that is usually uh, an emergency. So these are some of the other symptoms that you need to take uh, notice of. So let's look at what's happening in China then. This paper was published by the chaps in China, the doctors in China who have been working with all of these patients. And uh, it's a very recent paper. And it took uh, data from uh, 1,099 patients from 552 hospitals. So that's quite a sample. And uh, 
what is the most common symptom uh, amongst all of these patients in China? The most common symptom was fever, okay, and cough. Those were the two main symptoms uh, that they actually saw in those patients in China. And of course, by the time they developed chest symptoms in terms of lower respiratory tract uh, symptoms, uh, where you're having shortness of breath, uh, then you know that things are actually getting serious. But the two most common symptoms are fever and cough. So the takeaway there is that fever, cough, and shortness of breath are symptoms that you really need to take uh, very seriously. So now let's look at the spectrum of how the disease actually behaves in the population. So I took this uh, data from uh, one of the papers published uh, in China and this paper looked at the spectrum of the disease in 44,415 cases in China and I have to say it does look good because 81% of those affected had just mild symptoms. So this is actually very good. However, those who needed hospital care made up 14% of this cohort of 44,415 uh, cases. Now, 5% needed to be admitted into intensive care unit. Okay? And this is where the problem lies. This 5%. This is where mortality can actually occur. Okay? So, but that happened in 5% of the cases. So, the message here is that uh, for the most part, 81% of people who are actually affected would get away with just mild symptoms. So this is actually very good news. Well, hopefully you got some value from this video. Uh, you're wiser having watched this video. Please share these videos, by the way. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about why there is a differential death rates between countries. That's going to be the subject of my next video. See you shortly.